So, we have super, super scrolls. And apparently, they have the DNA of all the characters that was in Endgame. Like, every single superhuman that you've seen on the battlefield in Endgame, they have the powers. All those DNAs was in that vial, and Gaia now has that. Now, how are they gonna do this? Because if she has all the power of all these characters, and this is not included, and maybe if she got the DNA of Thanos. Oh my god. If she has the DNA of Thanos, what is anybody gonna do? No superhero that we know right now, besides from Wanda and Captain Marvel, has been able to do anything to Thanos. I guess Thor a little bit, but like, man, was still getting his ass whooped in Endgame by him. So I don't know if that really counts. And Iron Man, let me not disrespect him. He did make Thanos bleed. And like, bro, if she has the power of every one of those characters, that's like, bro, she's all of in-game by itself the power dynamic shit has really shifted okay and i don't know how marvel is gonna do it i hope that they don't make her pseudo fucking powerful like i think it's cool that we're having more powerful characters but making characters unreasonably powerful is ridiculous i just hope that she gets the baseline abilities of every single character that she has taken powers from i hope she don't constantly be able to enhance her binary mode that would be cheap as fuck okay that would be wow like she can beat anybody at that fucking point. unless they have like energy absorption abilities like wanda or something where she's able to convert the energy into her own self making herself more powerful but she still has hulk dna call obsidian dna albany Maw's dna frost giants extremists and etc like who can beat her she also has mantis powers now i don't know if she's like on the same level as mantis like i don't know if she's like putting celestials to sleep yet you know putting graphics to sleep is not that big of a deal you know but putting celestials to sleep is a major fucking deal if she's at that level with also having the full extent abilities of all these characters nobody's beating her oh i didn't even mention if she has the abilities of wanda i swear to god if she has the abilities of wanda i'm quitting I'm quitting. If she has the abilities of Wanda, which would be stupid because she already have the energy ability of Captain Marvel while also having the telekinesis ability of Ebony Maw. So she already has those two abilities and those two abilities together can basically be equivalent to a baseline Wanda, right? So if they give her Wanda's abilities, I'm fucking done. I'm done. I'm done. God damn, they just had to make her so pseudo damn powerful. Luckily, she's still beatable, but when she learns how to use all these abilities in the way she wants to, like, she knows how to use specific abilities for, like, specific moments, rather than just going out there and changes to everything, she's wiping out so many characters. And also, can she beat Thor as well? Because, yeah, I definitely know he was bleeding on the damn battlefield, so she could have powers of Thor as well. And Nick Fury really thought that was a good decision by sending scrolls to collect DNA to make this safety net fucking drug was some of the most stupidest thing ever. Why would you ever trust scrolls this much? I get that he only knew that it was a few scroll but i don't give a fuck they can impersonate you at any moment why would you ever trust that i don't give a fuck if it's been 30 years and no one know that was really stupid <laughs> oh i can't wait for the battle videos i may make one myself okay i may make one myself so yeah um we're gonna see she better have the baseline powers of every character not the full extent of their power like she better not get like have the hulk like how the hulk ability is where the more angry he gets the fucking stronger he gets if she has that shit too fucking done she just better have hulk's baseline strength okay you can't beat captain marvel and the hulk at the same damn time these are two of the most strongest people in this god damn universe no cheap okay that's cheap as fuck if you give her wanda's abilities she might as well just start reality warping she don't need no other goddamn abilities because she can do all the shit that all these other characters can do with one set of power you see the discrepancy here when you give a character so many goddamn abilities they don't have like one ability that can correlate to other abilities being achieved they just have multiple goddamn abilities and some of these abilities can correlate to some of the abilities that she have already i'm saying abilities a lot but i hope you guys get what i'm saying